Every day, women confront the challenges of managing work, family, and caring for loved ones, often with little external support. While these work family challenges are nothing new, too many workplaces, government policies, and economic strategies have not evolved to respond effectively to changing realities. Within the workplace itself, employees continue to grapple with long-standing inequities, including a gender wage gap. Yet, while many workplaces fail to invest in their workers and often fall short of what they need, some are evolving. Companies are adapting to the future of work, for example, by increasing automation and evolving technologies. Yet, the rise in job insecurity, including domestic outsourcing, independent contracting, and app-based technologies, combined with the erosion of unions, has shifted work expectations away from nine to five jobs to multiple, often unsteady jobs. This has resulted in blurring the lines between work and personal time, pushing many into juggling work and caregiving responsibilities. Welcome back to Business World. Joining us today to discuss today's topic, uh, to add more information and insight, is immigration attorney Myra Jolie. Myra, welcome to the show. Thank you for... Bueno, thank you very much for having me again. Likewise. I can, I can see, you know, yeah. when you get invited back to a house, it's because maybe you, you did good the first time. You did great. <laughs> I, I love having you here, and I, and I want to you know, share and, and talk a little, little bit about thank you, today's thank you very topic. Much. Um, Myra, it, it's been said that success leaves clues, you know, yep. and today we, we see you on television. I mean, you truly have become a, a television personality. You're an immigration attorney. Correct. Um, and let's, let's, let's go and talk about those clues. Uh, how did, did you have this vision or how did this all happen? How did you become Myra Jolie today? Well, or for students watching us that yes. want to be attorneys, maybe are interested in television or maybe interested in both. Correct, correct. Tell, us, tell uh, us your story. So many people have these big and bright <clears throat> stories about how they became, some, they have this epiphany, right. epiphany that right. how they became a, a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, yeah, right? I mean, it's a big In my case, mm -hmm. I became a lawyer because I watched that movie with Paul Newman. Really? Um, it's, in Spanish, it's la justicia, but I think it's the verb. In, in English right, with right. subtitles, right, by right, the way. Right, yeah. And um, I just, you know, felt like that was a very good way, or maybe I identified mm -hmm. myself with it, and not knowing that back when, when I was um, after, you know, high school, and then you go, you right. don't go really to college, you go to the university, and you go to a period in which you have to see a counselor, and the counselor will tell you yeah. what your abilities are. Right. I wanted to be an architect, but uh, the, the lady said, well, you're really? too shy. You would be better off being just a nurse. So I say, I don't want to be a nurse. I don't want right. to. I don't want to be a nurse. I can't even stand my own block. Yeah, How am I going to be a nurse? So yeah. I decided. I, I not. I even decided after I saw that movie. I felt, you know, like the world today, yeah. empowered. Right. And I felt like that's that was cool. I'll do that. Nice. And uh, I went to law school in the Dominican Republic. I finished law school in the Dominican Republic. Wow. And after that, mm -hmm. um, I graduated. 31 years ago, this February to 20, 20, 2020. Amazing. And then we, mm -hmm. uh, all my sisters and I, my father moved us to the United States, to Miami, right, and because right, right. I didn't know after the Dominican Republic, for me, the only country was Miami. And I thought, <laughs> I'm going to go to Miami. I'm right. going to marry a Cuban. <laughs> Normal. But, but uh, my husband is American. But, right. But what happened is when I came to the United States, yeah, yeah, you don't know the language, even if you know a little bit, but you don't know the, the semantic of how to relay speaking right. the language oh, wow. properly. Okay. So we started to go into, you know, going to uh, English school little mm -hmm. by little, you know, it, it, it takes one thing that leads to another. If you have um, not a vision, but at least the, 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 the drive to right. be somewhere better than where you were before. Right. And, um, and, and the uh, and, and also I, I think when when you like things and I've heard this before it's like a pull versus push I think when you like things you like you gravitate towards it you somehow you you start to you know read about it get involved and next thing you know you don't know how it happens and you're just like so into it, it so involved and you're so close to accomplishing that goal and and you look back and you're like well, how how did how did, this, how did this all happen right yeah. it's, it's it's you know I think they call it the reactivating. Uh, a system in your brain like you're you're we're programmed to when you have an interest like let's say you're interested in a particular type of car 
Yeah. And as oh, soon yeah. as as soon as you're interested in that car, yeah. all of a sudden you're driving and you see that you see, that yes. car everywhere. Everywhere, and exactly. The car was there everywhere, yes. always, but you yes. just weren't paying attention to correct, it. Correct. Correct. So it's it, it's it's a funny thing how 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 that situation happens. Um, so. When when did you become interested in television? Because now we know you for, I mean, you are a television personality and you've been on so many shows. When did this interest start happening? Did you perhaps, I, I know you you're interested in law because you saw a film, you know, yes. but mm -hmm. where you, how did you be, how did this interest, I mean, how did, how did it start? What, well, what was but that that's and, and, and what was your first uh, television appearance? Yeah. Okay. Right. But that's, that's, that's the, um, the funny thing. It's not. Right. I have never been interested in, interested in being on television. I mean, you right. have dreams of when you see people on TV, you say, right, wow, right. it must be cool to be yeah. in the tube, right? But, yeah. but not in the sense of I wanted to be there or I have a path to be there if that was my idea of doing it. But yeah. um, th I, I go back uh, uh, first to that. The first, let's say the first time I appeared on TV, mm -hmm. it was not related to anything having to do with my profession because okay. it was in the Dominican Republic and I was participating in the Miss Dominican Republic, which, oh, okay. is, okay. which at that time it was, uh, a, it was a pageant that was very highly uh, rated. Because right, you right. know the the girls that were participating were well, girls were you know for for good families I would say no financially good but uh, because yeah. I wasn't financially right, you know right, right. affluent so mm -hmm. uh, but it was it was a good story mm -hmm. about how these girls and they were you know they have to they have to show the pose the beauty the way they talk whatever yeah. and and the whole group uh, back in 1990 okay. I was the only one who had a uh, university degree. Actually, uh -huh. I was the only one who who was graduated from the university. The only attorney in the group, right. right? But fast forward, that was that that was it. And then when I come to the, the United States, right. I have my idea that being in pageantry is is a hobby that you will do when you have the time. No, there was a career, oh, okay. but somehow <clears throat> he, uh, continuing my path of education and, you know, due to my, my parents' uh, desire right. to make this generation mm -hmm. better than the one that they have, because my father yeah. is retired, but he was just a tailor. Right. My mother hardly make it to, you know, elementary school and sure. she, she became in, in her stylish. Right. So they, they knew with the resources they had, they have, you know, they have to rely on education for their four daughters. And right. that's what got us to this point. Then to mm -hmm. be on TV, you have to have more in this case, in cases like this, mm -hmm. there's so many talents on TV. The people yeah. that, that are journalists, people that are right. presenters. You're you, right, you're right. So uh, many uh, talents right, on TV. Right, right. So to go to the TV and being right. able to communicate something, you have to communicate something with right. interest. People uh, get, uh, get engaged in what you have to say. Right, right. There are a lot of TV people, people who can be on TV, and a lot of attorneys, immigration attorneys and other attorneys that they know how to speak, but you have to have the combination in which somebody's going to call you back. Right. So, right. so so what you say is instructive, but at the same time entertaining too. That's true. That has a they big cannot, entertainment factor. Exactly. No, you can't doubt that. I, exactly. I don't care if it's you know educational or you know legal or yeah. you know i yeah. mean i guess that all that is or medical i guess all that could be considered educational but exactly if it's not entertaining I, it's eh, not entertaining it's people either, either right, they're gonna, gonna be bored yeah i mean if, um, they're gonna be bored and right. then they really you know they say well she has a good uh she has substance sure. she doesn't know and, how and I've to watched, deliver i've watched tons of reports and shows yeah. like that i'm like well that's great but i'm not gonna watch it again i'm gonna exactly. fall asleep right yeah. exactly so yeah. so mm -hmm. that combination somehow right. and the fact that i decided that i i wasn't shy like this uh this lady said, yeah. this uh, counselor, I hope right, you know, well, he's, yeah. she's watching me from down there. Yeah. And, and I'm not, I'm not yeah. shy. I don't know what she said that. Maybe I was more, I was quiet. I didn't have yeah. the environment to develop myself. Yeah. But I, I always felt like I was a social butterfly. The thing is that there were no yeah. other butterflies to be social with back when I was I, in I, the 1990s in the Dominican Republic. Right. But once I came to the United States, uh, that little um, you know, like like lack of shame. Lack of <laughs> well, shame. you have to right. have a little bit of a lack of shame in order okay. to be in, in front of people and speaking. Yeah. And I decided that uh, if I want to be a model, maybe the world is going to be my catwalk. I cannot just be in, in modeling mode when right. I am in a catwalk. 
So you have to project oh, okay. so, that that idea of you always. You that's know, brilliant. I love it. So yeah, that, that, that so you took what you learned in, in that field exactly, and it's, and, and, and that confidence. Cause yeah. you, I mean, let's face it. You need a lot of confidence exactly. to be in, in a situation like that, and you. You I, brought I it over applied, here, I, like, yeah, okay, you know, we're going to use it over here exactly. now. Exactly. Right. So, okay. so <clears throat> to be in front of a judge, and, and more so, some attorneys are more versed than others. Right. They manage the, the English language, like, with a better, better understanding, and everybody can understand what they it. say. It's, it's but some other attorneys, right. some other attorneys, like, moi, have this, you know, they learn it as a second language. But Badly. You, yeah, yeah. So you have to be able to converse what you're saying because you are you are representing a client. The client right, doesn't right. care if you have an accent as long as you can you can get the message across. I as, think yeah. I'm, uh -huh. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. I, I do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think no, that's that, fine. I'll do it much more. <laughs> yeah, I know you do it much more. Than, yeah. <laughs> I think that in your case, for this particular you know law practice immigration. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that most of the clients you deal with are from, you know, Hispanic, right? Yeah, because we're in the region. I, I think correct. it's actually a plus. Uh, correct. To have uh, somewhat of, a, of an accent and to be bilingual, I think it's a plus. Yeah, they, it's they're going to connect with totally. you. They're going to relate to you more. It's totally. But when yeah. you are in front of the judge, sure. you have to have the confidence. I understand that. that it doesn't <clears> matter <throat> how you say it; you have to be able to convey it. Right. But if you are. Uh, a self self center uh, not self center but you that was you a have Freudian doubts. slip that was a Freudian slip I caught you yeah <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> that's why uh, okay, okay. but you you know if right. you feel like you are right. you're not performing you know maybe the judges are not though is not going to understand you have to right. block everything around you and being able to deliver that message even if after that you have to just straight go to the bathroom mm, it doesn't happen to me yeah. but uh, that's that's one of the things and and many people will look at me and say like, oh my God, she's right. too much. she has everything going on. And some people start asking me if I am positive because everything was, everything works well in my life, right. or everything works well in my life because I'm positive. Nobody's gonna know that. The only thing I can control is right. the way I act and react right. to eventualities. For example, right. you know we have this this virus around the coronavirus, yeah, and everybody yes. I, is I, going. Uh, I've is, seen is, it on the news a few, going, a few times. It's going to be a few thousand times. Right. People go crazy with it. Yeah. But then my philosophy is right. like somebody's taking care of it, right? Right. So there's nothing you can do unless you want to, you know, paint your door and say like right. here is the virus or here there is no virus. There's yeah. nothing you can do to stop the world from turning. So are you going to go just go crazy about it and make no, and no, the, no, and in the meantime just right. make everybody so, so go into So we can say you have you have somewhat of a stoic philosophy that you can only you only focus on what you can control and you 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 let go of the external factors which which you let can't control. Let go of the external factor okay. because I know somebody right. will going to be taking care. Of. Let's pause. We're going to take a, a short break. Friends, thank you for watching uh, Business World. We'll be right back after the break. Why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others. For more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov. Friends, welcome back to MDC TV. Today we're with immigration attorney Myra Jolie, and we're going to pick up the conversation where we left off. So, I was saying there's a motivational speaker uh, that says people are rewarded in public for what they do in private, and, and basically what that means is that you know you see an athlete or you see someone performing on television or any any industry, and they're having success. And people think, oh, wow, look, they, they make it look so easy, but they don't understand the hours and days and months of preparation that came before, right? So that's Absolutely. Having, having said that, let's talk about the F word, okay? The big <laughs> word, which I have, a whole, I have a super difficult time with, and I'm, yeah. you know, I'm working on it, which yeah. is 
Failure. I hate failure. You know, can can you share some of your your, your I mean, you know, whatever yes. whatever you know yes, whatever you're comfortable with and Yes, 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 yeah. yes. I, I you know, the <clears throat> thing is that I I condition myself to say, well, it's not that I failed. I just changed my mind. <laughs> now, okay, okay. You know, yeah. it's because if 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 I if I and, and also taking in consideration that you are making that failure right. dominate the whole day. I mean, in a 24-hour day. Hey, it because, goes on for years sometimes. Yeah, you know? but in the 24-hour uh, yeah, yeah. day, one right. person who flipped the finger at you while right, you were right. driving, oh, yeah, and yeah, then no. that's the only one that you're going to remember. You don't going to remember the other ones, the high and the thumbs up. That's maybe somebody told you, somebody complimented you right. uh, as something when you were going to the elevator. No, you don't mm -hmm. remember any of that. So you have to, you start thinking, you start dwelling on it for a little while because, I mean, I mean, we are not ro robots. We're yeah. robots. Yeah. We, have to, we have to think, wow, I don't go for, why would I do better? No. I have to double down on what I did because that result was mm -hmm. necessary for me to become better for the next chapter. So I, I right. cannot, I cannot just, just think of why mm -hmm. me. I refuse to be the why me or look at me and you didn't give it to me because you know how come you do that to a person who is black uh, and a woman and right. how can it, I refuse to be going? No, even when I was running mm -hmm. for Congress, I could see my you know, the other Congress people, the other, the other candidates, yes. all of them had a, a sad story to tell the audience, depending what audience was there. Okay, I'm a that's single mother. Right. Oh, I, I didn't have any job. Oh, I was in food stamp. Oh, right. why, why? Why do you have to do that? Because you are, that means that you are promoting failure. If that is considered as being a single mother and you have to put it out there, it's because you see that as a failure. Is that a failure? You have kids out of that relationship? Right. No, no it, you cannot call a relationship that ends in divorce a failure. It was a success while it lasted. Right, in my right. case, I've been married forever with my husband. We kind of, you know, almost you know, become family. But when people see our kid, Right. And they see it he's so, so, so warm and so polite. People start thinking, oh, my God, they're so lucky. Now he's uh. 15 and he's a great kid. But from one to four, it was a disaster. <laughs> we didn't know who are we going to send this kid to. Right, but right. you start just working on it and working on it and simple things like reading to them, to, to the kid every night. It takes courage. And to consistency, read to a kid and consistency. Every right. night, right. nobody, no matter where we were. And right. no, it's not a kid that will it will recite the poem back. Right, it's a right. kid who will really every time get it wrong. But right. you have to keep at it and at it, and the results are here. But that doesn't mean that you are not gonna embrace failure. Right. It's easy for me to say failure because I, I really don't know which 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 days are the rainy days. Maybe a rainy day is considered failure for some people, but right. for others, it's a beautiful day because they can maybe stay in. My husband always mm -hmm. said, my rice, the only person that will call a burn rice a success. I say, wait a second. The part that stays in the pot right. is not called burn rice. We call it con con. It's a delicatessen. But for him... He couldn't understand how can I, for him, that yeah. was the vision of how, how to approach life in a positive way. Right. If the rice gets burned, you don't call it burn, you call it a success because it it's did this delicacy. cross. And the bottom, it's a delicacy. Yeah, the bottom right. crops that is crunchy. So right. it takes the life as if, as if you were cooking rice. I mean, no nice, nice. burn I like, failure. I like it. So I like it. remember yeah. that, I don't know if that's <laughs> true, but Kellogg's, it was, I was told or I read, I read somewhere right. that the first Kellogg's uh, Frosted Flakes, mm -hmm. it was a burn uh, product, a right. product that, 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 that went south. And then they discovered the Frosted Flakes. The, so, the, 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 you know. the secret formula. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you deal with fear? What, I, 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 can you recall any, 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 so, you know, some people, it, I've heard that, okay, so, the, you know, I've, I've read a lot about this, yeah. actually. This is yeah. a, a topic that I'm interested in. There's uh, something called mental transmutation. I don't know if you're familiar. I'll, I'll tell you. So, basically, fear and courage, they, they claim is the same thing. Exactly. It's just separated by a, on a continuum, right? On one end is fear, on the other end is courage, and everywhere in between, you're, it's traveling, you know, back and, and, and yeah, so, right, you can, yeah. you, so 
according to mental transmutation, yeah. you can take someone that is fearful and make them courageous. And vice versa, you can take someone that's courageous and make them fearful. It, it, and, yeah, and, and, it, and, it, and if you're able to move them along that mental plane, you can, yes. you, can and, you know. Maybe, maybe I, it's the same amount of adrenaline. Maybe whatever yeah. whatever it takes to mentally transmute the mental states, right? Like, yeah, it's how, like, how do you it's like how do you, the Wizard of Oz? Remember the lion? It was, I didn't know, see. The, just, I didn't really see. I saw parts of the movie, but you know. I, I just I, knew yeah, that yeah. the lion was a coward. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. but you know, mm -hmm. I I I I read something. I I hope I remember it correctly. There's mm -hmm. nothing more fearful than fear itself. One famous. Yes. President yes. said that. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, FDR. Lincoln? But but. Uh, okay. There was, yeah. yeah but, but there is a, a, a an author, William Walker Atkinson, that actually wrote a book in 1908, wow. which which says the line. So yeah, I, I don't know if I don't know fear. if the president yeah, uh, read the book. From there. Right, right, yeah. right. But, but, there's yeah. nothing more fearful than fear itself. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. The fear itself. Yeah, so yeah. how do I deal with fear? Mm -hmm. Well. I start, you know, after my heart goes back to where it belongs, right. I start thinking, how can I resolve it? Because the fear comes out of, mm -hmm. so what do I do now? So Uncertainty. More, Uncertainty. Yeah. The do more, not, not know the future. The right. more you put it away, right. the bigger it becomes. Wow. So if you face it right away, simple things like, like mm -hmm. calling back a client in which you know as matters. You messed up the case. Oops. Or maybe you didn't right. mess it up, but you send it two days after the due date. You have to face that client. Otherwise, as they go by, it's yeah. going to be more difficult for you to explain when did you find out. It grows, yeah. That's it. And why didn't you tell them right away? So just let's face it now. Right. And then as you start talking about it, it becomes less um, but let's wait on you. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. and things that has to do with the house, for example, you go to the toilet and you see that there are little droppings and you look up and you, termites. Yeah. What do you do? You start thinking, you start cleaning it, you, you, okay, you start doing something. So you, you fear that this is going to cost you tons of money. They're going to have to tent the house. We're right. going to have to find a place to be. You have to take all the food, put it in back. And then all of a sudden you are in, in a just, panic. It just it's it, it panic. snowballs. It just keeps going. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it keeps yeah. going. But you don't move to do not even the first thing about it. So right. how do you? How do I deal with fear? I just come on, baby. So you, you're, uh -huh. you're, you're let's you're, do it. You're confronting yeah. it. You're, you're my, 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 yeah, my yeah, husband yeah. went to, through two cancers. Yeah. Two, that's, and that's, then he's still, you know, every time he goes and to check, yeah. uh, the whole house is in like like. We, you know, we feel like there is a tension, not knowing what's gonna come in the next, uh, in the next test result. Yeah. But we cannot let that take over the home. Like paralyze, because, paralyze yeah, because we have a family. Here, we have yeah, a yeah. family. Lives have to go on, on with or without it. I like that. So, I like that. So you're so, thinking beyond you. You're yeah. Thinking beyond exactly. You. It's, exactly. It's not only and about you. It's about your. It's about, about your family. Exactly. It's about your community. It's, it's about your country. Exactly. It's about, there's it's about, there's, there's a, it's about God. If you're a believer, there's, there's yeah, greater. I do. There's I do. greater things than than just the. And individual then, exactly and then and that, and that gives you i'm sorry and the people and the people around you the right. people around right. you because if you are not you take care of other people's happiness so you can right. take off your own so you don't have to worry about the other person but you have to start from right. a good place i mean you take care of you right. but then you gonna take care of the people inside your home the close proximity yeah. you cannot save the world if you can even no, have no. a conversation your, with the, your, your, your kid your sphere of influence. you have to sphere yeah you have to go to your sphere of influence yeah. then after that you get out you have your your nieces and nephews sisters you start going from there yeah. let's see how many people you can you know at least give a hand and resolve yeah, your situation but, but, but don't 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 practice. don't kid yourself. You that practice. works in uh, concentric circles. If you can, if you influence your sphere, their sphere influences their sphere. Exactly. And, and, and before exactly. you know it, you, you know I don't. I mean, I'm not. I'm not claiming. I know, but yeah, yeah. But, but you I, could have a, an impact be, uh, way beyond you ever imagined. But it's like that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way viruses. Yeah. I think the virus can I, contagious. You know, others. I think. I think right. Yeah. The same way you have to bring Absolutely. a little bit of happiness to be that virus yeah, that comes. You, can, you yeah, can influence that, others. That exactly. Yeah, yeah, influence yeah, the, absolutely. Influence others. I, I yeah. totally agree. And I think. All right. The reality is, uh, the problem with the world, I think, the, okay, I think the world is a microcosm of what's going on inside of us. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That, that, and just, uh, just multiplied by the world. So I think, and you we know, love, self... We love sight right. of loving 
Mm-hmm. You're on the person that you look in the mirror because if because you don't, we went, if you don't care about that we one, went, yeah. why are you gonna care about the others that you you find? Because we went from cooperation to competition. Everybody wants to be. Everybody, is, everybody wants to be, good. Everybody wants to win at all costs. They want to be powerful. They want to oppress the yeah, other person. They, but you, know, you know, it's we want. Uh, it's and, better when and, you cooperate. I think. In one sense, I <clears> embrace <throat> competition because that's what yeah. make people sure. try to become better. Absolutely. Because what what uh, in envy, claro, okay. envy have, comes out of that. Sorry, we have one minute left. Students watching, uh, they want to become attorneys. Any advice? Well, yeah. the, the go, only to another, go to another field. The only, <laughs> the only advice that I can advice tell you, you that I can tell you is yeah. this: if it doesn't cost you, <clears throat> you're not gonna give it that passion. You're gonna put that passion on it. Don't never uh, think that somebody else is gonna take care of your future, and don't ever think that your failures are somebody else's responsibility. So you live, you live with that motto, and you know that no, you cannot blame anybody but yourself, and for your success right. also. And if you fail, you should forgive yourself. I think. No, if you fail, I, I've had to forgive change, myself several times. Actually, change your you know. mind. Right. Don't call it failure. Right, right. Change, you just change your mind. Right. I like. I mean, that's a great philosophy. Yeah. Myra, thank you for coming. Thank I you, like talking you. to you. You're, you have, uh, you know, very. Um, Good philosophy on, uh, on life, and I, I think it's helpful. I really do. Uh, I hope er you. I hope everybody watching can get get something from it. Thank you very much, friends. Thank you for watching MDC TV. Uh, until next time, we'll we'll see you then. Thank you. And remember to watch us on Comcast Channel 78 and AT&T Uverse Channel 99. Thank you.